Hi, it's Stephen Jerry. Uh, it's been a year since our mom passed away, December 30th, 2020. Uh, and with COVID and everything, we, we weren't able to do a full in-person memorial, but we wanted to do something to mark the day and share some memories and give everybody else a chance to say something or write something or post some pictures. So we've created a website and you can click on the link and you can go to the website and see what other people have to say. And if you want to put something up yourself, uh, please do. Yeah, we'd love to see what you know you guys could contribute. We have a couple of anecdotes or thoughts to kick this off. So why don't we get it started? Great. One of the things I, I think I remember most about our mom uh, was her incredible integrity um, and her just very straightforward way. Um, she was just very solid. And she tells this great story of when she was working for the Secretary of State in Washington, the US Secretary of State. And even then, they had security detail. They weren't supposed to go out by themselves. And one day she was working in the office and the secretary of state had snuck out to go to the bathroom and didn't bring his security guy with them. And she had gone out to go to lunch and she rounded a corner and boom, the two of them just smashed into each other. And of course he jumped and was scared and, and then realized who it was and said, Oh, Miss Irvin, no, oh, I, you know, I know I'm not supposed to be out here. And she kind of scolded him. Um, she she told that story and it it reminds me too that over her whole life after i knew she had worked there i would ask her you know well because she had top secret clearance and and i'd say tell me something that you saw you know what did you see you must have been some really interesting things and literally to her dying day she never once would tell me a single detail a single story a single piece of information uh, that she had heard or saw or was part of when she was working for the Secretary of State because that was that was the rule and uh, so I never I never got those stories but I think it illustrates uh, kind of the her her honesty and uh, just this incredible integrity she had. So instead of telling a couple specific anecdotes about my mother. I decided that I would use my video time to simply reflect on the 20 years I had with her as a next door neighbor, both in Atlanta and in North Carolina, and the influence that she and Shell had on the upbringing of Hannah and Shannon. Also, all the fun that we had, all the meals and events that we shared as well as all of the help and care that flowed in both directions as i sit here almost a year beyond mom's passing those are the things i think about on a daily basis our, our mom was not a flashy person, but she had an incredible sense of humor. She was very clever. Um, she just had this ability to kind of throw in one-liners and she could, she had this wry sense of humor. And uh, I remember uh, one of the last times she was in the hospital, um, you know, 87 years old, and they were gonna bring in the physical therapist. And the other thing was she did not suffer fools. and. So, she, and she didn't like physical therapy and thought it was a waste of time. So the physical therapy woman came in and sat down and she had Carolyn sitting on the hospital bed and she had her raise her legs up and she said, okay, now I want you to, I want you to move your leg up and down 10 times and I'm gonna count with you and, and you do that. And so she started moving and she was moving her leg fast and the physical therapy woman said, uh, hey, you know, slow down a little bit. And Carolyn turns to her and goes, can't you count that fast? Anyway, she was, uh, she was funny. 
She was very funny and, and made us laugh a lot over the years. And she was a good sport. She, uh, she could take a joke and even when I'd pick her up and put her in the sink or other things I did, um, she, she always thought it was pretty funny. Well, thanks for listening. Thanks for participating. Um, wish we could all be together, but we kind of are through the internet. Um, and thanks again for helping us remember our mom. And best wishes for 2022. Thank you.